Hello everyone, welcome to part 9 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel in Laravel. Okay, so in this video, we are going to validate the admin login form. So we are going to use the validate class, validator class of Laravel uh, to validate the admin login form. And in the last video, uh, we able to login into the admin panel. Here you can see uh, we have made earlier the admin login screen. Uh, this one is the admin login form and we able to login into the dashboard. You can see uh, we able to see the dashboard page uh, that we have earlier created. Okay. Uh, though we need to update this complete dashboard page that we're going to do later on. See all unwanted data we are going to remove and we are going to update the sidebar as well. Okay. So uh, after that we have done the logout functionality as well and uh, we have not done the uh, we have not validated the form admin login form here uh, if you will uh, post some invalid data like this one uh, then you will click on sign in you redacted back to the login page without any error message because we are not showing any kind of error message here and also uh, we need to validate it like uh, if you are going to add the wrong details okay uh, though the email must be correct the password must be correct and the user must fill both only then the uh, user can able to log in okay uh, so for that we are going to use the validator class of laravel and i want to show you uh, like you can open the uh, laravel uh, validation link here you can open this one laravel.com the validation uh, you can simply go to the laravel 10 validation here you can see the laravel 10 validation and you can follow this page uh, to know about the validations okay so we have followed this one and created the validation for laravel forms okay so i am going to uh, start it now and i am going to update the login function in admin controller here see we have not validated anything so we are going to add the validation here uh, uh, we are going to add the rules and the custom message okay so rules array we are going to add uh, first of all rules okay and uh, we are going to add it like this rules and in rules uh, first rule is email we have the two columns email and password so first one is the email so email uh, first rule is it is required okay and the second one that we will give that it must be email only and the third one it must be the maximum characters of this email must be 255 okay and uh, we're going to check the password for password uh, that is required only required is fine and also we can give the maximum uh, like uh, we can give the maximum up till 20 or 30 okay like this okay uh, so uh, these are the rules and uh, we are going to give the custom message like if you will not give any kind of custom message then it will also work but we, we are going to give the custom message here custom message array custom messages custom messages uh, we are going to give this array here and i am going to add the custom message for these rules okay uh, so for that uh, i am going to add here like uh, uh, email dot required like if uh, the email uh, required validation fails okay so in this case uh, i'm going to ask the user like email is required okay i'm going to show email is required okay and if in case uh, email is invalid okay then we are going to show to the user uh, like uh, valid email is required valid email is required and if in case password is not filled then i'm going to show uh, to user that password is required okay password is required what is required like this okay so these are the uh, custom messages and finally we will validate it like dollar this validate and uh, dollar request whatever that is coming uh to us uh from the form okay and then dollar rules we are going to apply these rules with these custom messages okay so it will validate this data so uh here we are going to show this one in login form i'm going to open the login.blade.php file uh, where we are going to show 
above the form these messages if uh, in case it failed we are going to show here uh, so for showing the custom messages like writing the validate logic this logic we have uh, written in the same way like it is okay and uh, now we want to show it okay for showing displaying the validation messages so this is the way that we are going to display it is coming in er errors okay so we are going to show them here like this okay I'm going to paste this one okay so we are going to show them all messages like this i'm going to log in now and we'll see yeah we will also add the validator class here don't forget to add the validator class here use validator validator okay so this is the class that we need to add okay so after now we uh, can try okay like uh, uh, if i will not put any value click on sign in see it is asking email is required password is required you can see it is asking the user uh, it is asking the admin to fill the email uh, and password so both are required it is just uh, uh, validating our admin form okay so now uh, like if i will uh, just uh, uh, fill the username and not fill the password then it will just display password is required okay so like this and uh, after that see uh, now it is validating this data uh, and uh, see even if you will do something like this and you click on sign in it is showing the html we have done the html validation here uh, so if in case i will change type to test then it will also validate the email as well okay i'm going to show you like if i'm going to type it like this click on sign in then it will show the valid email is required okay so we have done the email as well type email here uh, so we have two validation here one is the html5 valid validation that is having the type as email and second one is the laravel validation laravel user validator class validation okay so both the validation for email uh, so now one more validation uh, that we are attempting here here we are sending error message invalid email or password so this error message we are going to show there and uh, for this uh, i am going to search uh, going to display this uh, i want some error message alert bootstrap okay bootstrap uh, alert message i want to show uh, then uh, i will search something like error message uh, i want to show in bootstrap alert uh, alert in bootstrap okay something like this i am going to open this link and here you can see the valley uh, there uh, are divs uh, variator class div here this is seems to be best one i'm going to copy this one okay and uh, we'll add here uh, okay one more validation i'm going to this is this one is the validator class valid validation okay this one and this one is the custom validation okay custom validation for the custom validation that we have added here we are going to show the error uh, okay uh, like this and here uh, see the error will come in session uh, if session has error message okay so uh, this one div so we are going to close this one here and uh, like this okay uh, so here and if okay uh, so uh, this one copy mm, uh, okay so here i am going to uh, okay like this get here okay session get and here now we are going to check uh, the custom message here like if i am going to put uh, i'm going to put here wrong email with password click on sign in and here you can see invalid email or password is coming okay and here i will give here alert danger class it will give it in red okay so if i will put some wrong email okay something wrong then click on sign in and here it is showing error invalid email or password okay so it is clearly showing the error message here invalid email or password so this bootstrap div is working fine for us okay 
so we are going to show this manual alerts every time uh, if uh, uh, if the information is not correct filled by the user okay so uh, and if in case the user not fill these fields then uh, it will show these kind of errors okay email is required password is required though we can also add the html5 validation for both the fields here okay uh, like required for this field and required for this field as well so it will give the double security to our form okay so now the user uh, is required to fill both email and password uh, and see please fill this field so the user can't skip it and if he uh, not fill the password please fill this field okay so he need to fill both the fields only then it will work okay so you can add these validations at your end both html5 validation as well as the laravel validation both client side this is the client side validation and this is the server side validation so you can try both add these both validation in your form in your laravel form admin login form and we are going to repeat this validation for our complete laravel website so in next video we will do something else and also this remember we functionality is pending that we are going to do later on uh, but first of all uh, we will move further uh, we will move inside the dashboard okay and uh, we'll start working on its feature uh, in admin feature like uh, update password and update admin details uh, update admin image update logo and much more see there are still many features are left here left sidebar also we are going to update this dashboard also we are going to update so one by one we are going to finish all the features so please stay tuned for that. So that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.